the Predators, Eric Kohler. What's, What's up, going man? on, man? I'll tell you what, it's great. The energy, the crowds are starting to come back to the jungle. I think it's uh, it's a good atmosphere. We got ourselves a ball game. I'll tell you, it's a great ball game, and it's too bad they had that one touchdown call back. Well, that, that was bad, too, but, I mean, the review to go back there about the uh, the illegal linebacker out of the box, I, I didn't even think that was reviewable, and that was a big play right there because yeah. that forced them to have to kick a field goal. I really thought we were going to score a touchdown there. Yeah, I tell you what, they get better every week. Yeah, they do. And the crowd is growing up. Yes, it is. So, you know, you not only do the voice of the Predators, well, Eric, we just tried to give away twenty thousand dollars, and they couldn't even get a pitch ten yard line. Give me, give me twenty bucks. We'll call it square. All right. So we we got cut off now. You're not only the voice of the Predators, but what else should you do? Well, a long time uh, stadium voice of UCF football, basketball. I started with doing baseball, and I did the Astros national spring training when yep. you were when you were around. And uh, I got a radio show, and I do some TV stuff with Spectrum Sports. Now, what's your radio show? EK Sports is on every Tuesday from seven to nine. So, from, uh, what you talk about the stock market? No, no, nah, nah, it's, <laughs> it's a it's a national sports talk show with a local touch. All right. And uh, it's a good show on Fox Sports affiliate and uh, on AM seven forty or FM ninety six nine. The game. And I've uh, been doing that for a few years now, and it's just a good platform to get my voice out there and stuff. But uh, I keep showing up and finding a way, Hank, just like you do, my man. <laughs> I got to tell you, you got the best voice going. I, I tried it one brother. day in the bathroom, and I almost <laughs> fell over. But you know how that is. Don't do that, but I'll tell you what, it's, it, it's nice to see you said something earlier before we got cut off, is that, you know, the Predators are back, and it, it, it just it kind of got rolled out a little bit late. So in terms of sponsorships and getting the word out of marketing stuff, that really kind of hampered the Predators for so when we get this first year under the belt, I think you're really going to see things build and, and, and get back to the old Predators days. I notice if you start looking around the boards over there, yeah. there's a lot more people that are advertising and starting to realize it's a good bang for the buck. Well, I mean, you're, you're a business guy, too, and exactly like it was with the Astros Spring Training. As you allude to, those those are sponsorships, and we need the sponsorship dollars to build the fan base, yep. to build a website. You need dollars to build a franchise, and this year it's been a little rough out of the gate, and like you said, as you made a great point, is each game, each performance we're seeing, it's a better product, and fans are starting to take notice. And you know what else I like? I gotta tell you. What's up? When you show the fans up there and you get them going, the little kids, That's funny. what people gotta realize is, you come here, it's a family setup. Yeah. You know, the little kids are in it, the adults are in it. That's right. The women, I love it, they're either hiding or they're jumping all over the place. <laughs> it, it's definitely fun, and what's great is I get to do a little conjecture and have some fun and interact with the fans and stuff and do some call outs with the opposing team so it, it, it's a great event so I, I really want everybody to come out here because uh cycle fever tv we couldn't do without you guys because you're giving us good exposure and we appreciate you and your crew being here as well well, well thank you for that i see you got your neighbor here <laughs> I couldn't believe that those are neighborhood kids that my kids yeah. actually shoot basketball with. <laughs> and I thought it was I got a text message and I made the boys whole night. That's great. That's great. Well, listen, everybody, you got to come. When's the next game? Our uh, next game is going to be June 30th. It's going to be on a Sunday at 5 p.m. kickoff, June 30th. Okay, June 30th. It's a Sunday 5 p.m. game. You got to come down here. You got to see it. You know, and if you watch us, we stream the games when they go out of town. So you can catch the home games with us, and you can catch the away games with us. And as a matter of fact, we're doing something for the Pirates so they can take it back with them. But what they don't know is our logo's on there. <laughs> I like yourself. First down, Predators! Hey! All right, let's go back. Thanks, guys.